What do you need? What do you need? Oh yeah? Are you still hungry? Obviously. What a stupid question. <laughs> Good morning. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, let's get the day started here as I usually do. One foot in front of the other, one sleeve after the other. I don't know. And it's gonna be a pretty normal day today. Van life in the city, feeding the big fat pussy. And I just having a thought, this is one thing, like one little benefit about living in your van and almost always being with your van is where it's kind of a dip, not a different, it's a weird time right now. Um, temperature wise, weather wise, right? So it's like only seven degrees Celsius right now, but it's gonna get all the way up to 20 later in the day. But unlike when I was living in my apartment, I didn't have to like dress for the day in the morning and uh, you know, either be freezing cold in the morning or uh, end up being really hot later on in the day. Now you could also solve this with like tear off pants, I guess, but I will be able to just change my clothes when the temperatures become too warm and I think that's pretty cool. All right, you, you need some breakfast. Of course I need breakfast. I'm a growing putty tat. Let's hope that's not true. And also, thank you to Cam. We got this in the mail yesterday. You got a new fancy spill-proof bowl. There's no water in it right now, though. We gotta change that, don't we? Yes, put it on the list of things to do. Smooth loaf, for a smooth loaf. Don't you poke at it, you crazy. Get it all over your paws. <laughs> already warm enough to get out of these jeans that I'm wearing. <laughs> so once I get down to uh, the park where I'm going, I think changing will be on the docket immediately. And actually my little brother is in town right now. He's here. <clears throat> I don't remember why he's here, <laughs> but he is. And I invited him down for dinner tonight because tomorrow's actually his birthday. So I just ran into Walmart for the morning wall washroom use and whatnot and I grabbed some stuff for dinner. Real simple stuff, I got a potato salad, hot dogs, chips, that sort of thing. I got a cake and uh, a few decorations and whatnot. I just thought it'd be nice to have a little soiree with everybody. It's kind of funny when you use the soiree and you talk about having a birthday party out of a van. Juxtaposition and all that. Before we get down there, I wanna stop at Safeway. I ran out of arms and my back was actually really hurting me. I always seem to have quite a sore back in the morning. It's obviously how I sleep and what I sleep on, I think, coupled with you know the surgery and all of that. But, but because of that, I wasn't able to get the last few things I needed, which is just milk and water. So make a quick a pity stoppy, and then off to the park. It's like coming to this Safeway when I'm in the neighborhood. This used to be my Safeway when I was living in Sticks and Bricks right before moving into Lucky. Well, not right before because I did live with mom and dad for a brief period of time as well. Good job, Safeway. Maybe. 
maybe it's time I just start doing this. Save some money in the long run. <sighs> so yeah, decided to just fill up this four liter jug. Uh, fun fact, there's a button on the water dispenser that says four liters. It does not automatically turn off, so I don't see the point of that. But my entire van life, I've always just gotten those like four liter bottles from like Walmart or Superstore or wherever. I mean, they're fairly cheap. They're like two bucks. This was $3.19 to get this. That's just, then you get the first fill for free. And I don't know how much the refills are. We'll find out next time I go back. But maybe in the long run, it'll be easier on the wallet a little bit. It'll take a while to add up. But also maybe the water's better. I don't know. I've never heard of Nimbus. I can't unlock the van while I'm yapping at you. I can, however, stop recording, unlock the door, open the door, put the phone on the mount, press record, lock the door, close the door, and then open it up and make it look like I'm coming into the van <sighs> for the first time. All right. <laughs> and off to Fish Creek Park. Good girl, Lucky. settle down here at the park although there's somebody parked in a spot I want to set up in so we'll play the waiting game I've got all day sir or ma'am do you all right look at our stuff here in the fridge hello EcoFlow I know did I touch you all right actually gonna have some breakfast here so I got my yogurt uh, I get the milk in here stand up some Revita teas okay and then what stuff do we have in here all right, so we've got hot dog buns for this evening. Got all of our party favors. He's going to be 34 years old, so we're definitely putting 34 candles on this little tiny cake, because obviously that's hilarious. Waffles, actually I'm gonna have some of those, but we'll put them in the freezer for now. We got butter, we got hot dogs, and we got potato salad. Is that everything? Oh yes, yeah, so then we've got plates, because obviously that's hilarious. <laughs> and like I said, our butter. Perfect. All right, so put all the party favors just over here. Party favors, just little like noisemakers and whatnot. Oh yeah, so forget our ranch dressing. Cool. All right, everything's good to go. Although, no, it's not. We're gonna have to find room for the cake. It says, please keep refrigerated. How serious are they about that? Really? Now, before I do anything else, I think I'm gonna go for a walk, but uh, just to get my back moving. But I'm going to eat first, so I've kind of been on my toaster kick ever since I remembered I had it and used it on our camping trip this past weekend. Did I bring keys with me? Of course I didn't bring keys with me. I just would have been smart. There we go. And yeah, I'm indulging in some Eggo waffles this morning with chocolate chips in them. Just a little bit of Revita tea back here. My goodness. flow to make our waffles what do we add on this thing today 81 percent i do have the solar panels in the back maybe we can pull those out later and see about a solar charge for this bad boy for now we're gonna plug in here turn that on and in the morning i'm making waffles waffles are in the toaster waffling Ugh, i got our whoop bump on our head on stuff oh yeah it's our new truck this is why I wear my hat backwards. Honestly, when I wear it up like this, I hit stuff so much more in the van. So like this, ah, much better. All right, knifey, forky, spoony, yogurt. Good morning.
<laughs> Real maple syrup. Howdy ho. I will say this, I never, like, growing up and whatnot, uh, I always just had, like, Aunt Jemima syrup or, or whatever, just that normal, normal stuff. Real maple syrup wasn't really a thing that we had. I mean, everybody in my family has it now. It's almost like people realized something, right? But, more to the point, in terms of van life, like, I'm cleaning my plate here like I always do, just with vinegar and a paper towel, um, and I've done this lots of times since I moved into the van, cleaning up after French toast or pancakes or waffles or anything. The real maple syrup, because of the lack of like crazy sugar and whatever else in it, is a lot easier to clean up. Vinegar and like Aunt Jemima syrup, at least on these plates, cleaning it this way, frustrating. I actually um, found that using a baby wipe to get the initial layer of syrup off of the plate was almost like a necessity. Actual maple syrup, lots easier to clean up. Now it's time to go for a walk. And it's funny, it's like every time I come down here, which is a lot lately, I just, I mean, this is like, why else would you want to be anywhere else if you're van lifing in a city? Like come to a place that at least makes you feel like you're out in wilderness. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but Ever since I started my van life, I have been spending more time here and outside in general, which is great, and I'm really, really liking it. Now, I could have come down here all the time when I used to live in sticks and bricks, but I didn't. Um, for me, there was always a uh, an excuse or something to not do it, right? Like. Even if that excuse wasn't a good excuse, like very rarely <laughs> would it ever have been a good excuse other than laziness, not wanting to do it, right? Because I have everything I need at my fingertips in an apartment, why leave? Now, I have everything I need at my fingertips in the van as well, but I've had the question posed to me before, like, did moving into the van force you to be outside more? I don't know that forced is the right word, but it definitely made the prospect of being outside more appealing. And so, especially when the weather is nice, um, it's great to come down here and just go for a walk through the park, throw in my headphones, listen to some music, and just kind of let my mind wander and get my body moving. Might seem super simple, and it is, but for someone like me that was not particularly active <laughs> before I moved into the van, it's really nice. So, that is exactly what I'm gonna do now. Okay, nice brisk walk through the woods has definitely made it warm enough to change out of this outfit. So I'm gonna do that. And then uh, while we wait for our spot to free up, um, there's a lot of things we could do from all the very generous stuff we have received from members of the community as of late. I think, unless I talk myself out of it, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to install those amber off-road lights that Cam sent me on, uh, on the Irish Pirate Queen. So. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. All right, 
Let's get changed. <sighs> there we go. Much more Matthew appropriate for the season. All right. Whew. Ball cap. Hair. Now we're good to go. And it shouldn't be too hard, but I say that, which just means you know something's going to go wrong. Okay. First things first. Let's get Grace's hood open here. Da, 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 da. Take a peek at what we're dealing with. So here in the engine bay, we got these uh, bundle of wires here, and I'm pretty sure these are the wires that run to the auxiliary switches in the cab. I only ever watched one YouTube video regarding this, so I may have to pull up another one. I may also have to put on gloves. Oh, let's get the lights. Those are right here. <sighs> Just so I can figure out which switches to go on, because as far as I know, there's two switches that are a certain amperage, and then the other two switches are lower amperage. I believe they're all fused and everything, but I don't know which is which. So give me a second and we'll see. We're getting these pretty guys installed. <laughs> all right, it's gonna take a bit. I forgot, it comes with this whole wiring harness here that has a relay installed, plus it comes with its own little switch. Where did that end up? Right there. So this is what we're going to have to remove. It actually has a quick disconnect, so we shouldn't have to cut too much. Right here, right? And cut that, then the, one of the two of these, the black and probably the white, I'm assuming. I don't know what the third wire is. Just, don't do what I do, just follow along and get some entertainment out of it. But that's what we will be cutting and splicing into the wires. The lights themselves, super simple to mount, right? They have these little things. Already attached to them, just gotta tighten it all up. And I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna put the ambers on the side here and boom. The other option is I could put them up here. Hmm. Decisions must be made. Then they will be. Oh, well, that's too bad. See, what did I say? What did I say? I didn't even think about that, that I said it and I put it out into the universe. But um, unfortunately, this bolt that's back here that runs this way is seized up. I don't know if it's the quality of the bolt or what. Probably this came from China, I would assume. But this thing is basically seized on here now. And I can't get it any tighter. And I also can't get it off very easily. And I don't think I have a second socket wrench to really ratchet at it. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get this off because that's no good. The other one went on okay. But I'm going to have to go to like Rona or something and get a replacement nut and bolt, I think. Because that's just... That's not what you want in a exterior mounted light. Hashtag sad day. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, there you go. And that's the problem right there. So I did find another socket wrench and I was able to get two 10 millimeter bolts or 10 millimeter sockets on them to get it off. The bolt itself right inside, completely sheared. Can I get this one out? Don't drop the light. Don't drop the light. <laughs> Look at that. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. So yeah, that, uh, I guess we drive around with one light mounted now. Kind of makes me want to take that one off and just replace both because yikes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, found a culprit. That's why. All right, well, just gonna stow this bad boy back in here for now. And yeah, we will go get our own hardware and tomorrow or the next day. I also was talking on the last live stream about how I wanted to get over to pick and pull to look for a few things that I wanted to DIY on the van. Uh, well, one, just replace the driver's seat. That would be nice. Don't know if that'll be a possibility, but that's hopefully what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And then maybe we can stop at the... Excuse you, me. At the bolt store. See, that one's nice and not, it's rock solid on that one. Anyway, some people's kids. In China. Oh, I know what some of you might be thinking. Well, he was, he's probably gonna get up there and use that grinder to fix the solar panels. You'd be wrong. That is not a today thing and will very solidly remain in the book of future Matthew problems. All right, so we're gonna get this. <sighs> oh, look at that. It was our next thing to do, too. We tried. We did our best, but now Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I think the gentleman who's in my spot might be leaving. He just got into his driver's seat. Gonna close Grace's hood. Oh, yeah, he's firing it up. Let's move, boys. Hey, oh, we'll put a poop bucket here. Not ideal. He's got to wait. He's right over there. I know, Penny. We want to get our spot. <gasps> there he goes. Tally freaking ho. Make sure he's going the right way. Carefully. Carefully. Don't run over any small children or animals. Do, 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 do. All right. Then we can move the Irish Pirate Queen over as well. Is that good enough for Lucky? Well, let's, let's check her out. I always like to have a little bit of spacey space. Oh, yeah. We should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Deploy everything. All right, well, we've got some decent sun right now, although there's trees and stuff in the way, but I could probably get away with putting the panels maybe like right here. Um, obviously, I have other ways of charging the EcoFlow, sure. But when I have these means, it's, it's fun to test them every once in a while, make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. I actually haven't used, hi, Penny. I haven't used the solar panels to charge this stuff in, in a hot minute. Um, oh yeah, I'm charging my speaker, so we have music tonight too. Okay. We gotta unplug all of this stuff. I can unplug that. Get out of here, mosquito. Gotta put, we have to put some bug spray on, aren't we, Penny? You got a full body fur coat. You don't have to worry about those buggers. Mwah. Me, on the other hand. But anyways, yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, charged this thing this way. Now, I know I have the cables. It's just a matter of where the heck they are. Where the heck they are. All right, put that there. Just living her best life. Hey, you. <laughs> are you enjoying your van life? Yeah, you guys might be like, oh, I can't hear her because of your microphone. No sound is coming out of her right now. Oh, there's a tiny little one there. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. So, squirreled away back here, under the bed, are our solar panels. Hiya. Hello, hello. Put those there, and I have a bag of cables. I just saw it when I was getting the tools out right here. Are they in there? Is that them? Well, there's a 12 volt one. What's this? Hey, are those the right ones? Well, the solar ones, so hopefully. All right, shove all this stuff back in. All right. Uh, get the handles out. Hold on to the egg. All right, Oops. there we go. Okay, this is the front, right? Yes, this side towards the sun? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the other way. Doesn't it say on it? It's not very handy if it doesn't. Uh, here's this side toward the sun. Oh, thank you. Sunlight. I need... Oh, yeah. Mmm, yummy. The case is like a stand or something, right? Open up, you busters. These things are heavier than you'd think they would be. It's not great coverage. We're getting some branch shadow there, but let's just make sure this all works first. This one here. That one there. Sure. <laughs> All right, you working? Not yet. Oh, there we go. Nice. Cool. 93 watts right now. 86, 91. Typical solar panel. Says it will take six hours to go from 78 to 100%. Nice little setup. But yeah, definitely losing efficiency right here. I guess I could move it over a little bit. <laughs> like that. How's that look, Penny? Is that better? What do you know? You're a cat. You don't care about solar panels. There. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Did we get any better? Ooh, 170. Did it change the hours? Nope, still six. <laughs> Hello. Mwah. There you go, Penny. We're all set up pretty much. Good to go. Gathering power. 
getting set up. Got the table good to go. I just want to pull down a couple more chairs. Probably the little table as well because there will be a little pirate princess here, of course. And I think other than that, we are pretty much good to go. Of course, I'm going to have to go get the pirate princess. And now I've set all of this stuff up. So, oh, I guess it's a good thing I got somebody to babysit my pet up. There she is. There you go. Thanks. You're and welcome. You, you can always count on Amber to bring the gas. <laughs> see, isn't this one of those moments when you're living in a van for me? that really stand out. Like, yes, you can travel and you can go see places that you never would have seen before and do that a lot more frequently if that is what you're able to do when you're living in a vehicle. But for somebody like me, who doesn't do that as frequently as others, it's moments like this where I can just come down, set everything up. I've got absolutely everything I need and we're gonna have like a little family get together tonight, like, and just deploy the house, you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> as Byron once said, what more do you need? Some hummus would be nice. You said we need to go inside for a little bit of a break? Has it been a hot minute? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful day. Like, just gorgeous. Mm. Oh, I know. Still got the solar. Plugging away over there. Meh. Clint, you want to go in? Okay, let's do it. There you are, my dear. Make good choices. Hungry, thirsty, take a pick. I guess I should give you some cookies, eh? You hungry for some cookies? All right, then. All right, think they're in here. Watch your head. Here's your cookies. And, whoop, look up. Hey, y'all. Yum, yum, yum. We're gonna put the birthday balloons there. All right, pour them all out. We gotta get some inflated for Uncle Byron before he gets here. Blow some up. We're gonna hang them up. Ooh, so fancy. Oh, oh, oh found a yogurt, did ya? Can you? Need help, help opening it? Yeah. yeah, of course I can help you. All right, here we go. Amber, I think she went to the washroom. She'll be back. Nailed it. Here you go. Ooh. For you. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <coughs> Yummy. All right, there we go. Good enough. <laughs> there you go. Keep going, keep going. Hi. <laughs> and then come down the gravel path here. See, go around. Yeah, go down the hill. <laughs> you got it. This is quite the setup here. There she goes. Yeah, no, go down the hill. You got it. Good girl. And then turn around the corner. Whoa! <laughs> you might have to back your bike up now and come back on the pavement. Got happy copy van life. She's underneath Regina there trying to fix her starter. <laughs> The solar panels are now directly in the sunlight and we're getting a full 225 watts, which is pretty cool. It's still about, I don't even know, I think 92%, I think. But hey, it's free power from space. What's she doing under there, eh? Learning things. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Now, what I don't understand is why isn't it coming out? <laughs> because you because <laughs> it's inside the transmission so you're gonna have to pull it out wait what Daddy, can I play in grace? you cannot play in grace there's no room to play in there can I nuts. Here? what do you want in there for <laughs> there's, so much stuff. there's so much stuff yeah let me, let me put these on my bike. you betcha those are your tassels yeah, you're gonna have to probably give it a little bit of a smack because here, like if you look at your new starter here, this is all inside your transmission. So Ooh. these surfaces on the back here are probably rusted to your transmission, mm -hmm. right? So that's all that's holding it on right now. Be careful that it doesn't like brace it with one hand. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, just don't want it fall on it'll hurt. It's not exactly light. Oh, she got it. Well <laughs> done. Look at that. <laughs> you think it's gonna solve your problems? Probably not. It looks fine. <laughs> no. Gotta have faith. Well, maybe the shim, I don't know. I haven't compared it yet to the new one. What do you also, mean compared it? Like to see what his teeth look like. 
because her teeth look fine to me. She's an expert on starters, you see. Apparently, you also have to make sure it's like in the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> this is still quite nice with the um without the, the yeah it's warm enough now that the sun is gone <laughs> we put the solar panels away we were pulling 30 watts i didn't see the point so anyway amber's been fighting with uh, her van for a better part of a year making a horrible horrible noise every once in a while when she starts it so she thought she'd throw a starter at it so that's what she's done <laughs> and now a moment of truth we just uh Got everything reattached here. Well, she put the starter in. I redid her negative cable for her. So, <laughs> fingers crossed that she uh, daddy, daddy, daddy. wired everything right on the starter. <laughs> yeah, we're coming. We just gotta see how Regina starts first. Okay. Well, okay. Quality content. Mm. Quality content. Everybody hold on to your butts. And Brooklyn, you just stand back there in case she explodes, okay? Oh boy. Well, that was interesting. She fired up. <laughs> she started, so congratulations on getting it back together. Good job. But that feels time. good. <laughs> well, that could be because it's, turn it off. Okay, let me just, let you let did, it. just turn it off. Okay. If it works, it works. Just give it a minute, okay? No, not a minute. Oh, and fire up. How was it, Amber? Let's see. Dude. I think you did it. I think you did it. Maybe. Let's see what <laughs> Well, I've never heard her start like that before. I have never heard her have that clean of a start. Yeah. You got to give Amber a high five. She just Woo! fixed her van. Take a high five. Yeah. Ooh, go wash your hands now. I got something for you. Like, for your hands. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go for a bike ride now. I'll chase you as you ride. First things first, we got to give Amber... Did you just say your check engine light's off? Yeah. Shocking. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Yay! <laughs> there you go. The orange stuff or That's whatever. Right. That'll clean your hands right now. <laughs> there you go. Uh-oh, who's here? Who's here? <laughs> Noah's not here. <laughs> it's just Uncle Byron, you silly. Why is Noah's window rolled down? Mm, why is the window rolled down? Uncle Byron was probably airing out the truck because he farted a bunch. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, yeah probably. According <sighs> to Matthew, everyone has gas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring Noah, I'm sorry. He has to stay in BC. I know. Well, we don't need you anymore then. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Oh, happy early birthday. Yeah, man. Thank you. Wow, jeez, yeah. Happy oh. yeah, early birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is your, my crime. Yeah. your crime? Yeah, you're the oh, one that did it. Oh, hey, good job. Oh, my goodness. Do you have to wear that? Is this for me? <laughs> well, yeah. This is the birthday. Is this for me? Yeah. Okay, lady. So you okay, well, you you know you know protocol, right? Because a person can't pin a ribbon on themselves. That's not how this works. So I'm gonna need your help, okay? Can you help me with this? Okay, lady, I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need your help with this. Oh, this is a what? It's a pin. I'm gonna need Brooklyn's help with it. <laughs> you you walked into yep, this trap. Yep. Okay, Brooklyn. So what I need you to do is hold that very carefully because this is sharp, okay? okay? Okay. So this so I need you to hold the plastic. Hold the plastic. There you go. So now I'll help you. Okay, we're gonna put it here, right by the R, okay? Now jab it into the shirt, jab it in, jab it in, jab it in. Perfect, now you gotta take it to the other side. Like this, uh oh, how do we do this? Okay, okay, so now what I need you to do is very carefully, put your finger here. Okay, and oh, we'll do it together here. Put your finger on my finger. Okay, and then uh, push, 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 perfect. High five. You had to come under there a little uh, bit with me. Well, I looked underneath, but she did it all herself. Oh. It was very hard. That's what happens when you take somebody up onto a mountain during winter and force them to fix their own shit. They learn real quick. Wow. <laughs> and now she can do uh, it, self-sufficient. Give a man a fish, he eats for the day. Mm, would she, would she Teach run, a man to fish. She, she can fix her own shit. She'd run right into the Oh, she'd never come back. probably take off. Would she? She'd never come back. Probably, let's see. Really? Would you run away? I'll catch her. Would if... you run away? That's fine. Well, Byron would catch you. Okay, oh, and we're off to the races. Just don't let her eat grass. That's the problem. As soon as she gets, oh, she's, grass is good for you. No, then she goes in the Tacoma until she pukes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can ride up front. Yeah. See, immediately. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, you already broke it. Uh oh. Way to go. Oh, see? Positive vibes. How are you? Do you need help with that? Well, you got it. Good job. Be careful with it. So. <laughs> Set up. Welcome to the neighborhood. Let's get all the swinging chairs going. Let's all do a time lapse real quick if it's all swinging chairs. <laughs> yeah. Don't let the meat burn. Here we go. Quality meat, quality meat. Yum. This is the theme we went with for Byron's birthday. Yep. Level up. Gamer Byron's like, what game controller is this? I, I, this is like this one. Nouveau Superior! Nouveau Superior! En français, ouais! That's right. Uh, I said that's if this is a controller you'd get if an Xbox and a PlayStation had a baby, so whatever. All right, we got potato salad, potato chips, cheese, and hot dogs. Let's get her. <laughs> How else to light 34 candles and not burn yourself? There. Solder your wires and light your brother's birthday cake. Here we go. <laughs> oh god. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> you see it, B? <laughs> oh gosh, this is so many. How do you do this? Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Might have to come here. No, I want it out here. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. to you. Happy birthday, dear Byron. Merry Christmas. Yeah, that's 34 candles just for you. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, I want the green ones. I'm going to take the green ones. <laughs> Way too much work. <laughs> Droid the cake. Oh, oh, man. Half of it's gone. <laughs> yeah, we aerated it. We aerated it. Yeah, yeah. it the cake is breathing. Chocolate fudge. I made it in my oven. They don't have an oven. Oh, when we do there you go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Happy birthday. Anymore. See you next year. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching everybody until the next one just go out there be happy be creative be yourselves most importantly be positive and remember only dead fish go with the flow you bastard